Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me again. The Me Dion is the greatest painting as a duet, is my opinion. I hope you guys think the same, because, you know, she grew up to be a beautiful, older, mature woman. It's here on the left. And this is the younger Mona Lisa. I mean, there's an obvious age difference, isn't there? Okay, so let's, let's bypass that, and let's see what I'm going to show you between them. I'm going to show you that this is an x-ray that they pulled out of the Mona, but I had to pull certain colors. And what I'm going to show you is that out of it, I went into many different, see? I went into this, I went into this, I went into this, okay? It takes a lot, a lot of work to get them to go that way, okay? But we're going to deal with this, but first, this is an x-ray of mine. So if you take this and overlay it in this area, and it looks like angel wings, legs hanging on down, and you follow that on up. Well, let me scoot it in because it was overlaying. I gotta move it. Sorry. Sometimes when you move some stuff, it shifts just a hair. You can see the wings, how they fit in a perfect angle cut. And you can see how it turns into a skull of a face. See how this turns this between the two into the skull of a face. But if you take a look, you will see that this horse rider here is in the underlayment of this. It gets, it gets really, really good. So when you put this up in the area right here you can see the cut line going right perfectly with the Sali writing in here which is the Sali writing the same angle cut of the Sali writing right in here here's the angel wings which comes down and makes this and then since those line up, this comes on up and goes. And if you pay attention how this rides up, this rides up. And then it kicks on over for the hat and stops because it goes off the sheet on this. Kicks on over. Comes back down. And it loops. You can see the circle loop over here where this has a circle loop. But in black. Then, you'll see this writing that shows right in here, like an F, and then you pull this, and you can see the F in black. Then you put this right back over in the black, and you pull this down, and it almost looks like a U. And it also looks like some kind of A or another little F or an upside down R. So you take a look over here and yes, there's a mess there. That, I agree. But here's an S. And then when you put this up in here, back up in here. You see an S here, but also an I, and then like a lady with a big rumpus with legs running down. Big, big girl. So, from here, when you go to put it up, there's the head of the girl. Head of the girl, you can see right here. Then, you put this right back down. Here's her other 
uh, that's a man's head and a woman tilting back with her hair. See this this is a head of a woman with a crown. This is also another head of a man leaning on over like giving a kiss hugging and 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 uh, in other words built like a t totem pole and you can see that this horse thing that's in between that builds them is right here of this of this character looking horse deal that has like a trombone up in the front but when you really get into it it's actually a horse and a rider with other cartoons and when you take and put this over the top and you take a look at it you'll see that it actually has a horn here and you can see where the legs would come out in the black this is an absolute image of Leonardo da Vinci's hidden works in this painting I'll check it tomorrow better. Amen.